Hello, Jeremy here from 3D InfoTech with another quick tip for you. My company produces many sheet metal parts and I have one in front of me right now. Let me go ahead and create my inspection plan by importing my CAD model, creating some features, And I'll begin scanning my part. I'll take advantage of some of the other settings and tools that Polyworks offers, such as pre-aligned during scanning, real-time quality meshing, and clipping plane. Let me go ahead and define my pre-alignment. And begin scanning. I'll go ahead and close. And let me try measuring these features. And you'll see a lot of my features here failed to measure. And the primary culprit is my scanning strategy, where I scanned perpendicular to all these faces. But I did not really capture any sidewall data for any of these features. So I want to show you a nice little setting that might save you some time from needing to scan from various angles for every feature. Let me first exit inspector. And now I'm back at the workspace manager. In the workspace manager, I could go to tools, options, and under the general tab, there's an application mode called sheet metal. Let me go ahead and apply and Polyworks will go ahead and do a lot of background changes such as extracting parameters, probing parameters, and so forth. And let me start a new inspector project. And let me go ahead and repeat some of the steps like before such as importing the CAD model, creating my features, and begin scanning. And one of the first things I want to point out is these three scanner modes that I didn't mention before. Previously, I was on surface scanning only, and after changing to sheet metal mode, Inspector changed the scan mode to surface and boundary scanning where I'm gonna have one data object for all surface data and a second data object for a boundary. I'll show you a little bit more about this in a few seconds. Let me go ahead and start scanning. Oh, let me define my pre-alignment again. And start scanning. And notice this time when I scan, I'm gonna do, do the same path as before. But notice, if I hide my CAD, notice how I have data of my, surf, of my surface data, but I also have special data points representing the boundary of all the holes. Let me go ahead and continue scanning. And let me scan that again from a I'm from a 90 degree angle, so we'll just rotate the wrist 90 degrees. And I'll finish scanning. And this time around, I'll measure these. And you will see that they do successfully measure this first time. And when I dig into the details of this, and enter the properties of those circles and go to the measurement tab, 
you'll see this time around, some of the defaults are defaulting to the boundary scan, where originally it was to the surface scan. So you can see how the sheet metal mode can help the operator scan your parts faster and still get reliable measurements. Thank you for watching.